Finally, the story behind the little film sending a big message. Nominated for an Oscar this week, it challenges us to see the world in a different way. It's about a man named Artie who is both deaf and blind. A sign he displays and the young man compelled to help him. Nine. Feeling Through was inspired by director Doug Rowland's real-life encounter with a deaf-blind man. What was it about that moment that was so impactful and it stayed with you? It was making this really heartfelt connection with a man from a community I'd never experienced before and immediately getting any assumptions that I might have dispelled. Rowland worked with the Helen Keller Center to help audition actors for the role. His star, though, was closer than he thought a worker in the center's kitchen. Robert Taranga, deaf and legally blind with an extremely narrow field of vision, <laughs> turned out to be a natural actor. Through a sign language interpreter, we talked about his role in an Oscar-nominated film. Your first time out, your first acting role, what does that feel like? I am very, very happy. Of course, completely unexpected, but very happy to find out the momentum that we've been gaining, and I'm just thrilled with it. The film breaks ground as the first to star a deaf and blind actor. Oscar-winning actress Marley Matlin, who is deaf, is the film's executive producer. People watching, I think I would hope, would say, oh, uh, yeah, deaf-blind, okay, I feel sorry for a deaf-blind person. But then after watching the film, they'll change their minds and say, look, there's a story there of two people meeting beyond just the disability, beyond the color of their skin, beyond whatever person or whatever they represent. After the film was completed, Doug Rowland was finally able to track down the real Artie. It was an amazing, it was amazing to reunite with him. I mean, even did he though it, remember you? Did he remember you? He did. You? He did remember me. He remembered the experience very well. And um, it was also amazing to get to fill him in on everything that he'd inspired since we encountered each other. He knew nothing of the film or anything that we were doing around that. So to let him know that he had inspired this whole experience was amazing. And he actually got, right before the pandemic, he got to come to an in-person screening in New York that we did. Um, and so he got to experience the, the film himself uh, tactilely. And Robert, uh, after your, your first experience, is this something that you want to do now? Is acting in, in your future, in your blood? Absolutely. <laughs> of course I do. This was my dream. I mean, honestly, and my goal now is to be involved in more films. Yes, yes, yes. I definitely want to do that. And I think that Hollywood could look at this film to look at feeling through and see that deafblind people can act just like anybody else, whether you're hearing or blind or deaf or deaf blind, invite us to be part of the process. Ah, I love your enthusiasm. <laughs>What do you want people to take away from this film? You know, more than anything, it's a story, it's a universal story about the power of human connection despite whatever differences we might have. In this case, it's between a young black sighted and hearing male and a middle-aged deaf blind man. And so in addition to that universal component, it's an amazing opportunity to let people know more about the deaf blind community, a community that hasn't been represented at all in film and TV and um, is not covered a lot by the media. Um, so it's a great opportunity for people to um, be moved by and feel connected to a person who's deafblind in Robert's character, and then hopefully be inspired to learn more about the community afterward. Feeling Through is available on YouTube. You can see the link to it on our Facebook page.